Hey everybody, Dr. Robin with Sports Chiropractic. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hypervolt Portable Percussing Massage Instrument by Hyperice. Uh, we're talking about some of the benefits of what this machine can do for you and maybe some of the contraindications or some of the things you should not do with this. But first of all, quick story, I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Uh, I've used some of the portable percussors before um, and a lot of them are quite noisy which in an office situation can be disruptive you know if we're doing massage and we have this really loud uh, machine going it can be kind of annoying for those patients getting the massage so i found this one and first thing it was just much uh, quieter than the ones that i've used before but also very strong and powerful but just just more quiet so that was great for me um also what i like about it it's very lightweight easy to hold easy to use uh, you know, some of the features of this has an on button here. So we just hit on and you can see when it goes on, if it's powered up, you'll get that green light to come on. And on the back here, you also have some power settings to show you uh, how it's doing as far as the battery life. It says it has two hours of battery life. Uh, my morning shift is four hours, the afternoon shift is four hours. And it's been working straight through, you know, turning it off in between patients, not always using it on every patient, charging it once in a while, no problem so far. So the battery has been great. What I like about this is you have three speeds. So one, two, three, and this is as loud as it gets here. So really not, not too noisy. Um, so if you have a patient or if you're using it on yourself and you, know, you don't like it all the way up, it's nice because you can just put it on that first speed there uh, to make it uh, less sensitive, um, which is great. Some of the other ones I've seen are basically just one speed all the way up or nothing and that's it. So that's another great feature of this. Uh, it comes with four attachments. This is the round one. I'll show you the others here. It has this one here, which they call the fork, the bullet, and the flat one. So you can see this is a really good one for maybe getting uh, on, the, on the spine area. So the spine's in the middle and you get to the uh, you know, paravertebral muscles. The bullet is really good for pinpoint areas. The flat one is good for you know, just about anything really, really flat areas. And this is the one I use probably the most. Um, so, you know, really, really great uh, instrument. And it comes with this charger here. And simply, you know, when it gets low, you just take this, plug it in, and it plugs right into the bottom there. Very easy to do, easy to use. And let's talk about why this works. You know, vibration has been used for a long time. Percussion uh, has been used for a long time and it also adds pressure. They also make foam rollers that have vibration, uh, spheres or these balls that have vibration. So you're getting pressure with vibration, which does a couple things. Number one, it helps to mobilize the fascia. Uh, it helps to basically make the fascial component of the muscle more uh, less viscous or thick and so the the tissues slide better over one another so what that translates to you is you'll feel looser you'll feel more range of motion you'll feel warmed up uh, which is a, which is a great thing um, this also works on the fluid so what it does is it helps to uh, increase the lymphatic system fluid uh, it also uh, you know so what, what that does is will help with drainage of edema will help with um, getting rid of lactic acid and it'll make you feel kind of warmed up because it'll warm up the tissue temperature as well. This also works on the muscles. Basically with the vibration and the pressure, it helps to stimulate the Golgi tendon organ, which helps to inhibit or relax the muscle belly. So you'll feel more range of motion, you'll feel looser. So a really good thing to do, you know, uh, after a workout when you've built up some tension in the muscles to help kind of elongate them again. And we always try to educate patients on what we say brushing the muscles. We wanna brush our muscles like we brush our teeth. So what would happen if we you know, did not brush our teeth? Obviously we would build up with plaque, we'd eventually get you know, cavities, gum disease, our teeth would rot. So what people don't recognize is our muscles are building up with tension every day, which can eventually pull joints out of position. Too much tension over time can lead to muscle tears. So these are the things that if we can manage and we can maintain, then we won't get those issues. So this is a really great self-massage tool for at home for you to massage your muscles. One thing that this doesn't do, the depth is not uh, very deep. It's mostly 
softening up the superficial aspect of the muscle, the fascia, which is great, but this doesn't replace that deep tissue massage or that muscle work that kind of separates the, the layers of muscles or maybe pulls or peels a nerve off of a muscle when there's a nerve entrapment, things like that. This isn't as precise or specific, but generally really helps to release or reduce the muscle tone. And what also it does is it works on the central nervous system. So what I mean by that is that when we get injured, um, we have our mind muscle connection, right? Our proprioceptive awareness. What happens is when we get injured, we kind of lose that mind muscle connection. There's almost like a divorce there or it gets separated or the roadmap between that mind and muscle gets smudged and we can't utilize that area very well. So you'll hear people say, oh, I'm compensating. So maybe after you get hurt, you're compensating because your mind-muscle connection isn't talking or communicating very well to each other. So what this does is by using uh, this to stimulate that injured area, it increases a sensory input to the brain to help the connection, to help uh, rebuild that roadmap so that the areas can communicate better. So this is another a great tool for that. Uh, in our office, why I like this a lot is because I use it to basically soften up the muscle before I get in there with my hands and do the deeper, more specific muscle work, the active release technique, the grasping technique, things to break up scar tissue or get the muscles uh, sliding better over each other. This really, in a short period of time, softens up that top layer of muscle. So as a chiropractor or maybe as a massage therapist or physical therapist, it'll help you to get in a little bit deeper quicker so you get more value out of your visit. So that's another great thing uh, that this does. Um, and then we'll do our manipulation to realign the joints. And I think this combined with the muscle work and the manipulation really leads to an incredible visit where you're really rebalancing, realigning the whole musculoskeletal system. So uh, this is great for, for all those things. You know, obviously there's a couple things you want to be careful with if you're using anything at home. Some of the obvious things, you know, you're not going to do this over your eyeball. Maybe the front of the carotid artery is not a good idea. A lot of very sensitive places I would stay away from. Hopefully people would know what to do, what not to do, common sense type things. One thing I've seen some people also do is cause a self-inflicted tenosynovitis. So what they'll do sometimes is think that it's a good idea to work really hard for really long on a tendon, which is like that guitar string type thing. If you're feeling your muscles and you're not sure what that is, that's what that is. It's like almost like a steel cable. So it's not very massageable tissue. It's okay to maybe do this for a little bit on there, but it's really best to get onto that softer, fluffy muscle belly. That's where this is gonna be more effective and you're not going to create inflammation in the tendon sheath by, by uh, doing that. Um, a general rule is I'd say, you know, anytime you're doing self massage, whether it's with a lacrosse ball, a foam roller or a percussing instrument like this, you never want it to be more than a seven out of 10 on your pain scale. If it is back off, you actually could be creating more guarding or tightening of the area because you're getting in there a little too deep. You may want to consult with the physician first and say, you know, why is this so tender there? Maybe they can explain exactly why, or you may need some more specific work in that area rather than the general uh, percussive tool. Remember, this does not replace massage. It just helps kind of get in there and reset the muscles a little bit so that, you know, you can get better workouts uh, so that you don't have muscle tension. Keep building up. But uh, if you're having more, a lot of pain using this, definitely consult with somebody about why. So those are some of the things to you know, be careful with. Um, but for the most part, this is a very safe, great addition uh, to your self-massage uh, things that you can do at home. You really want to help to reset the muscles so that the tension doesn't keep building up. I've been using this every night on my calves and my feet just because I know from standing a lot, from just working out a lot, those muscles tend to get very tight. And I've been waking up and uh, my feet and my calves feel so loose. Uh, so this has been a great uh, tool for me at home. It's been great for my patients. Uh, they really love it. If uh, we do carry these in our office here at Sports Chiropractic, um, if you're interested, we do have them here. Or we can get them for you. Or you can visit uh, Hypervolt or Hyperice's website, order it there. But a uh, great, great tool. Um, big fan of this uh, instrument here. I hope this review was helpful for you. Um, you know, if you liked it, please obviously leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you can. Uh, we're looking to get uh, some more subscribers to help our channel keep creating great content like this. So I hope this was helpful. Dr. Rodman, have a great day.